Hi guys, um, I've had a question about this car. Uh, basically, can I make it go exactly two meters? Not more than two meters or less than two meters, but exactly two meters. I've had a little thought. Um, obviously, it needs some sort of braking mechanism to stop it at the two meter point. So I'm going to modify this and see if I can do that. First thing I've got to do is take it apart again. Um, I have to take the peg out the middle, then I can take the back axle apart. I'm going to drill an extra hole in it. What my plan is, is to drill an extra hole in the back axle, just feed a piece of string through it, drill a hole in the back of the uh, car here somewhere and very simply have a length of string hanging out the back which winds up as the car moves forwards and hopefully I'll put a peg on the end of it or something that will stop it when it reaches the two meter mark. Let's we'll see how we get on taking it apart. Hopefully I can get that peg out that I put through the axle. Oh, that's handy. And I've got to ease the wheels off. Okay, so I'm going to drill another hole just to the side and feed a bit of string through it. And also drill a hole in the back of there. I think what I'll probably do is I'll melt a hole through so it's less stressed. Just realised the light was a bit funny there. I'll just turn the light up a bit. Right, I've drilled my hole in the back axle, so I've got two holes there now. One for the peg for the rubber band and one to put a bit of string through. And I've also melted a hole just through there. Not sure if you can see that. If I get the light just right, you should be able to see. Melted a hole through there for the string to go through. So I'll put it back together again. back through the central hole. Okay, now the idea now, I <laughs> should probably have done this before I put it all back together, so I need to poke a bit of string through that hole. Okay, with a bit of fiddling I've managed to get the string through the hole on the back and through the axle. What I'm going to do is pull it out and tie a knot on the end of it. So that shouldn't pull through the hole that I've drilled. See that? So the idea is as the as the wheel goes round, it's going to wrap up that. So I need to measure how far it travels to go two meters, and then put a knot on the other end of it so it stop, stops it. That's the theory. <laughs> and we'll see how we go. Right then, I've put a bit of string on, tied a little
peg to the end of it, or a bit of wood, tested it, and well, I'm getting a getting it about right. I think if you want to spend a lot of time on this to get it exactly right, then this is a possibility. This way looks like it might work. Uh, see if I can show you how we do it. First thing is, I've actually wrapped the string round it. Oh, let's see if I can show what I mean. Right, the string is already wrapped around the back axle. As I pull the string, it's actually winding up the rubber band. So if I put the back axle on the line, okay, and let it go. You may have noticed it actually slides a bit when the brake comes on. So if you want to improve this you might have to um, put some rubber tyres on the wheel so they don't slide around. But that's my two metre mark. Uh, see if we can do it the opposite way around. wheel is on the two meter mark. Oh, <laughs> got wheel spin before I started then, that wasn't very good. Let's take that back again. Anybody who's watched lots of my rubber band videos, you'll see that I usually put rubber tires on these so that we don't get wheel spin. Right, we're on the line. And there we go. As you see, I'm going slightly over the line, but you can adjust that quite easily. By adjusting where I've put this knot because that just unties and then you could move it to a different position so you can go further or shorter. So the idea is you've got the rubber band on when you actually wind the string round. You'll see what I mean when you try and do it. It's easier to, for you to try it out than it is for me to explain it. I think. Right. Rubber band's off. Start that again. So rubber band's off. Wind this up in the direction you want it to go. Then connect the rubber band. Now, when you pull the string, the rubber band right winds up, and when you let the string go, the car goes. But obviously, you need to measure the string, and then all I did was made a, a loop. Like that. Push that peg through it, so that makes sure it only goes the distance you want it to go. And there we go.